Hi, I'm Becca Bretholt, and I'm going to be co-hosting Shutter Wars, the show's creator, Armin Di Fiesta. So what happens when 84% of American households now own a digital camera? The result is just more than just competition in the marketplace. The result is Shutter Wars. constantly aware that there's a whole new generation of photographers right behind us. We need to be as hungry for it 20 years in as we were our first year in. In Shutter Wars, each competitor will endure two challenges. The judges will select the winning portfolio, which will receive a gallery showing in Georgetown's famous L2 Lounge. The winner will also take home a new Airport International V2 roller bag from Think Tank Photo, one of the most respected professional camera bag companies in the world. Thanks to all our sponsors and crew for making Shutter Wars happen. I'm Armin Di Fiesta, the creator and producer of Shutter Wars. If you happen to own an SLR at home, you just might learn a thing or two about photography from the show. But before we meet the contestants, let's meet the judges. A graduate from the Rochester Institute of Technology, Douglas Saunders specializes in on-location photo shoots anywhere around the world. With clients such as Ford, Apple, Geico, and numerous celebrities, it's no surprise Douglas has been named one of Washington Life Magazine's most influential people under 40. My name's Justine Angaro. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based in Los Angeles, California. Justine Angaro has been photographing weddings in her own clean classic style since 2003. She later expanded to include children's and music portraiture. She conducts photography workshops and makes guest speaker appearances at photography conventions around the country. My name is Nicole Wolf. I am a photographer. I'm originally from a small island in New Brunswick, Canada called Graham and Ann. Nicole Wolf received her Master in Fine Arts in Photography from Columbia College in Chicago. Since then, she has carved out a career as an accomplished photographer as the owner and operator of Soda Design Incorporated. Nicole has photographed musicians, celebrities, chefs, politicians, and events of all kinds. Shutter Wars, I think, will be great for people who are just kind of starting out with digital SLRs. I have a ton of friends who are just now getting their first SLR and constantly asking me questions about how to use it and that kind of thing. And I think this will be a cool way for, for all those people to kind of check out and see what it's like. I think it'll show the other side of photography where a lot of people think you can just show up with a camera and, and take pictures. It's a, it's a lot that goes into it and I hope that in seeing this, it'll, it'll make people want to be better photographers. I'm just going to give them who I am, my style of photography, the best that I can, I can do. And it's subjective, art is always subjective, so hopefully the judges will enjoy what I bring to the table and we'll see. Shutter Wars for me uh, as a contestant uh, will be a great opportunity to uh, definitely be tested on uh, my knowledge and experience that I come with. For those watching the show, I think it's going to give them an inside look at a little bit about what we go through each day. I really want to see the other photographers as a competitor. The judges I'm kind of, you know, scared of. I mean, I don't know what the judges are going to say about our photos. I'm not a person to really step out of my shell. I generally don't do things like this. Whether it mean, you know, meant that I was going to have my ego busted a little bit or, you know, made to be like, okay, I'm on the right track. I'm proud of myself for putting myself out there, you know, because I'm a stay-at-home mom and this is what I do on the side for extra money. It's what I love. It's day one of Shutter Wars week at Union 206 Studio. The contestants get through some headshots of themselves for their Shutter Wars website. Then they brave the frigid weather around Old Town Alexandria so the crew can capture footage for the show's opening sequence. Back inside Union 206 while they get acquainted, thoughts about the competition keep them wondering what might be in store for them tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I have the slightest clue what's going to happen. I really have no idea what to expect. I'm not really sure what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm excited to find out. I honestly, I'm down for whatever. I just can't wait to get my camera out and start shooting some people. As far as what might happen tomorrow, I think in general none of us have any idea and we're all feeling very antsy. We want to know. You know I hope tomorrow we have a, you know, something that's going to be 
real edgy, something creative, uh, something that's gonna push us. I'm hoping, just because of my own, you know, what I tend to shoot, I'm hoping that it's not completely studio, that we do have the ability to use some natural light, because that's what I tend to lean towards. I'm personally a planner. I want to know, you know, what's gonna, what's gonna happen and kind of prepare. Sometimes if I have too much time to plan, I, I overanalyze everything. I hope tomorrow has some exciting opportunities for us. I suppose anything could happen. I don't envision anything uh, but first place. It's day two of Shutter Wars Week at Union 206 Studio in Old Town Alexandria. The contestants have been anticipating the announcement of today's photo challenge. No one knows what to expect. No one knows what they'll be shooting, but there's one thing for certain. It's going to be a lot more difficult for those who are not comfortable with equipment and time restrictions. That's Hello. Hi. I'm Becca Bredholt, and I'm here today because I'm going to help Armin with your first challenge. <laughs> Today, you'll be responsible for providing your client with professional headshots, both a mixture of corporate and casual. Now, let's meet your clients. Here from Art Soiree are Sandra and Tati. Art Soiree is a well-established arts and entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. As in life, there are problems that you don't see coming. Today's problem is that you will only be allowed one light source. No light room, no type of editing to be done. It will be dumped into my laptop and imported into Adobe Lightroom. At that point, the clients will get to review the images on site like they would in many cases. And they will choose the winning photo on site. Is that understood? Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. Now, before you get going, pay attention. You're only going to have 15 minutes with each client. So make sure you do a great job in a very short amount of time. Good luck. Many photographers may experience a photo shoot with limited time and short notice. It's crucial the photographer understands their gear and make the most out of their lighting equipment. In some cases, one light source is all they have time for. So for this challenge, the contestants will only use one light and they'll have 15 minutes to photograph the art soiree, whether it be with a flash, a strobe, or any continuous light source. Like they say, it's all about the light. Everybody has their lights. All right, the first photographer contestant up will have 15 minutes with the client is Jessica. The time begins now. Next week on Shutter Wars. So what happened with your light back there? You, uh... I have no idea. The clock is ticking. The lights are going out. Oh, uh, not good. Come on. Three minutes left. Battery just went out on the charger, and I'll still get the shots. Watch as these photographers teach viewers a thing or two about photography. See who'll win this photo challenge and go home with a brand new camera bag from Think Tank Photo. This is more difficult than I thought. 